Ew, orange and purple do not go well together. Hello my lovely vapies, welcome back. Today's video is about the lava box. Alright guys, so I was really excited to get to try this because I have tried a lot of Volcano products. This is the Lava Box. This is the first box mod made by Volcano Six, and they are located in Hawaii. And I'm super stoked to try this out because it is a beastly thing. I have seen lots of reviews on it, so here it is. It comes like that. And I almost looked at it one time, but then it was in this plastic and I wasn't about to take it out of the plastic before the video. So here are some extra little screws for it just in case you lose any. So the device is on top as per usual of any of these kits and below that there should be other things if I can just get it out of there. Below that we have the user's manual. Pretty decent size. Maybe it comes in a different couple of languages. It doesn't. Oh, I would have assumed it would have so anyways and it comes with a warranty card a giant wall adapter and a micro usb charger i believe let me check the end yep micro usb charger and this gigantic how oh, am i getting that out and the wall adapter that has this to flip out so you can have it like that or like that whichever way you want it now let's take a look at the pretty box itself Ooh. okay Dang it, so it it comes with this grip and it comes with the black one or you can get a white one, a red one, or a blue one. Volcano e sent me all three of the colors and I figured it was just a, like a pop on, pop off, but it's not. You actually have to unscrew the little screws and then screw it back in and change the color. So I'll do that at a different time, not for this video because I just want to get this quick first look review over with. So here is a close up of the device. It says lava box right there. Here is the rubber grip. Now this is a polypropylene plastic grip. Here is the front and I accidentally already turned it on. Lava box. Here is the spring loaded gold plated stainless steel center pin. And down here we have the battery venting holes. And shall we take off the plastic together? Ooh, so enjoyable. Oh, so shiny. It's so shiny you guys can see the camera in it. Here's the fire button and the regulatory up and down buttons and the micro USB port. Here is the HD OLED screen. Focus camera. Displays the battery life, the wattage, the ohms, the voltage, and the temperature depending on what mode you're in. So this lava box has the Evolve DNA 200 chip in it. It is a temperature control device or wattage mode device. In temperature control mode, it goes from 200 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. And in wattage mode, it goes from one watt all the way up to 200 watts. Who actually uses 200 watts though? Like, does anybody vape that high just normally? Like, let me know if you're one of those people because that's incredible. It does have a removable internal 900 milliamp hour three cell lithium polymer battery. It has cell by cell monitoring. It does have the option of upgrading its firmware. It has integrated A1 balanced charging. So right here it is 46.19 millimeters by 28.15 millimeters by 94.87 millimeters. Its output voltage is 0.5 volts to 9 volts. It has an output current of continuous 50 amps and the material the actual device is made out of, not the rubber grip, is a superior grade 6061 aluminum alloy and it comes with a bunch of protection features which I personally love. It has over discharge protection, over or under voltage protection, short circuit protection, over current protection, and it also has a lock and unlock feature. So right now it is in the unlock mode. So if you try to press the fire button, it'll say check atomizer because there's nothing attached. To put it into lock mode, you just click the fire button five times fast and it is in lock mode. So if you try to fire it, it'll tell you to unlock it by pushing five and you can't change anything. So puts it in unlock mode and then again it says check atomizer if you try to fire it. It does adjust in wattage by 0.1 increments and if you hold the regulatory button down either direction it will toggle through fast. I really like how this is made. It feels really sturdy. It feels really well made and 
I even though at first I was like Ugh, about the grip you have to unscrew the little screws I feel like it's actually better that way that way the grip actually stays in place and there's no slippage when you're actually holding it so I'm gonna go ahead and put my troll RDA on here it is a 0.3 build and I will set my watts to 45 just because I like low wattage personally. So this device, I don't think I could get much use out of the 200 range, but this review is for you guys, not for me. This has a couple different modes. It has a lock mode, which you won't be able to use any of the buttons. It has a stealth mode where the screen won't light up. It has a power locked mode and a resistance lock mode. The device comes set at 450 degrees, but if you put it into lock mode and then hold the regulatory buttons down, simultaneously you can adjust the temperature for it but I'm not using a temperature control coil so I'm just going to stick with wattage for today's video so here is what it looks like all said and done set up ready to vape let's give her a vape shall we seems to be working great and I also want to mention that these buttons are really clicky can you hear them they're really easy to press really clicky and I like that clouds bitch yum the flavor in here though is so good I'm really enjoying this so I've noticed that like on my MVP even though I love my MVP when you hit the fire button especially with this on it takes a minute for it to like get going and get vaping this is right there ready to go like as soon as I hit the fire button it's chucking the vapor So getting it into stealth mode is super easy too. While the device is in lock mode, you just have to hold the fire button and the down button at the same time and it will go into stealth mode. To put it into power locked mode, you just hold the plus and minus button at the same time for a few seconds. And in the power lock mode, you will not be able to adjust the wattage or temperature of it. So like while vaping it right now, it's completely unlocked. If my finger so happened to hit that button, it would change the wattage setting. But if you have it in power locked mode, only the fire button will work. And with all the protection features it comes with, it does come with a bunch of error code messages that will display on screen if there is any error of any sort. The check atomizer, which you all saw in the beginning of the video where there was no atomizer on here, it says check atomizer. It'll say shorted for if the atomizer or wiring has short circuited. It'll display weak battery if it doesn't have enough battery to power. It has an error message for temperature protection. It has an error message for ohms too high or ohms too low or device is too hot. With advanced as this device is and all the protection features it has on it, I actually feel like I have a lot of vape in my mouth still. <laughs> I actually feel pretty safe vaping on this because it literally has an error message or a protection for anything that could possibly go wrong and that really makes me feel really assured when vaping something like this. Now personally, it is a little bit big, like for me personally. It's not heavy at all though. And it's just going great with this 0.3 ohm coil. So it definitely gets a thumbs up for my first look review. If you guys want to see a one month update, please comment below and I can make that happen. This is a device that I would actually really enjoy doing a one month update for, but like I always say, I'm not going to bother and not, I don't want to say waste my time, but I'm not going to use that time that I do a, a one month update where I could be doing a different review for a new product. So if you want to see a one month update, let me know down in the comments below. Like I said, I'll, I'm probably going to continue to use this for a little bit anyway, even if I'm not planning on doing a one month update. But if you do want to see a one month update, let me know. I do want to switch it out with the white grip. I think that'll look really nice with the white atomizer, white grip. I think that'll be a great combo. I will put a link below to where you can check out the lava box for yourself. It is, oh, it's over $100. I believe, what was it like? I It was either $116 or $160. I can't remember when I was looking. So it is a little bit more expensive, but I, like I said, it has all these protection features. It does a lot of different things. It goes up to 200 watts. It has, the protection features just, those alone are worth it, especially in the day and age where people can mess up their bodies by not knowing battery safety. So definitely a plus in my book. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter. I also have a Facebook page. I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random videos. So if you want to see more of me that's not vaping related, you can check out that channel. All those links will be below. And one more thing before 
before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching. You know, despite its size, I think I could really get to like this mod. And since it's Volcano's first mod, I bet the next one they come out with will be just as great and just as powerful, but a little bit more compact, I'm hoping.